Hello, hello and welcome. I am in uh, Helsinki, capital city of Finland, in the area called Pasila. To be more specific, I am in East Pasila, but uh, that uh, doesn't matter that much in this point. But what matters is that if you have seen my uh, previous videos from Riga, where I toured the Soviet neighborhoods in capital city of Latvia, then this video will be interesting comparison what Finns here in Finland were building at the same time, what was the architecture, what was the ideas, so you can uh, make a comparison what were Soviets building and what was here in Finland. What separates Pasila from the other similar neighborhoods like this in Helsinki is that uh, it's been lifted above the street level. Let me show you. So down there is a street, there is a traffic, but uh, I am standing in level two sort of say and Behind all this is that uh, in 70s, 80s, when this building block was constructed, apparently there was a, a petrol boom. So a lot of cars, a lot of traffic and architects and planners of this area decided that it's better, more safer and more convenient for the local residents is to lift this place up and have it like a two level structure level one down the street level two where all the residents live and have their life kind of separately and safely away from the traffic And also, Pasila is famous for its street art scene. Obviously, that is most likely not the, the best piece here, but uh, there should be quite quite few around, so I hope uh, we can see some and I can show them to you. Here you can see the, the prime example of what I was talking about. You have uh, everything you need here in the level 2 above the street that you don't even need to go down there and uh, interfere with the traffic. So you have a restaurant, some, uh, some money transfer office i bet there are more these are just the the first things uh, i've noticed here I have uh, reached probably the most famous building here in uh, Pasila and uh, I guess also my favorite it's called uh, Aseman Pali Konhovi or something like that if I uh, pronounce it incorrectly please forgive me but uh, anyway check this You can see the massive satellite uh, plates on the roof and uh, the reason behind the, the plates is that uh, in the basement of the, the building there used to be a TV studio from where they had the, 
their first uh, cable TV program in whole Europe. So this is a quite famous house. I've been uh, trying to do a tour of this building for quite quite some time because uh, in this building friend of mine uh, owns apartment and uh, not that there is this TV studio but there is also rooftop pool and the the inside of this building is also very interesting to me plus my friend uh, Marco have a very cool 80s style renovated apartment so i also would like to see that so marco if you're uh, watching this video please uh, let me do the the tour of your uh, your building and apartment Here you can see the prime example of the level 2 and 1 elevation. And uh, as said before, they have uh, everything here. They have a supermarket, pizza place, restaurants. I bet uh, many other things that you would need in your uh, daily lives. But check again this uh, prime example of uh, brutalist architecture here in uh, Helsinki. Beautiful. Speaking of uh, brutalist architecture, actually this uh, whole building, most of its, uh, its uh, houses are built in brutalist style. That is believed to be uh, just uh, concrete building blocks and uh, no fancy ornaments, no fancy designs, just pure lines, pure boxes and uh, just uh, very very simple designs one uh, distinctive feature is the coloring because in uh, soviet buildings in riga you wouldn't uh, see it that much they were mostly gray of course in some buildings they uh, they use some coloring but here almost every building i've seen have uh, its own uh, color And uh, here is the yard of uh, one of the building blocks here in uh, Pasil. Very well taken care of, very nice, very well uh, organized, so no reason to complain. Also what uh, sets apart these buildings is that uh, they have very very big uh, balconies. In uh, some cases they are almost the size of the, the whole apartment and uh, here in Finland they, they really like their balconies.
I uh, wouldn't be surprised also that uh, in these uh, apartments they uh, also have a sauna built in inside the apartment if not inside definitely in the every building here they have upstairs or downstairs sauna for for residents to to book and to use And uh, let me ask you again, do you see the, the small difference what the Soviets were building and what the Finns were building at the same time? Wow, wow, I have to take my words back because they uh, don't have street art only in the street level, they also do it in level 2 and on the houses. How uh, insane does that look? I, uh, I have never understood how it's uh, possible to, to draw something like this. There you go, with the bicycle. In the winter, this is how the, the post is delivered here in Finland. But uh, also one uh, thing I would like to say is, as always, the, the, the surroundings, the season, in this particular day, the snow might uh, play a very big role. So it's all white, snowy and beautiful. If I would come here in a gray day, maybe it would look a little bit different, but at this uh, this particular in this particular day there is uh, nothing bad i can say about this uh, 70s 80s build uh, neighborhood called pasil people used to call this uh, area like a uh, uh, What's that? Uh, East Germany. Okay. <laughs> they, okay. They are <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because of this kind of blocks. But anyhow, now these are good condition, and actually, value of this neighborhood is uh, rising because of tree plant. And this one, they will make a loft houses over there and renovating. And but uh, do you remember? Is this coloring like have they have colorful? Has it changed or it is the way it was in the yeah, the, in it 70s, has changed. 80s. It has changed. It, it was pretty rude at the early 70s and mid 70s and 80s. Okay, so they've been mostly renovated mostly, by now. Uh, of course, of course. Okay, Col coloring and you know it's perfectly safe. And, but anyhow, it's it's. Uh, Construction techniques is fantastic condition. Okay, as you heard, uh, the man said that uh, buildings here been renovated. So I have to take my my words back that uh, this is not the original state how they were, but. Uh, I guess it's also not a surprise because in in uh, 40 years they should be renovated at least the facade but uh, he also said that the structure is uh, still very very strong so they're not showing any cracks or uh, falling apart just uh, facades need to be renovated
and uh, even if most of them them been uh, renovated visually the style of uh, these houses are are truly uh, spectacular Winter Wonderland. What uh, what more can I say? To finish off the the thought about comparison between uh, Soviet uh, building blocks in Riga and the uh, same uh, same time frame buildings here in Helsinki is that. Uh, even though in Latvia you would have money to restore and repair all the buildings they would uh, probably still not uh, look the same and feel the same as it feels here because if you ask me the, the, the main difference is that here in, uh, in Finland here in Helsinki they really do build things for the people but uh, in many cases in Soviet Union times they said that uh, they're doing it for people but uh, in reality the, 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 the scene and everything could be uh, completely different. how realistic and cool this looks have my friend uh, Donny king of twitter some uh, other social media platforms but uh, mine is uh, right up there this is uh, me, sad like a clown, if you don't uh, subscribe to my videos. So, please, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like and subscribe. And as always, I see you in the next one. Bye.